Hello, it's day 28, and I want to talk about stress. Weekends are just not my time. Man, weekends are just not for me. Weekends are always the time when I get bad news, or I get hurt, or something goes wrong, and just everything comes crumbling down on weekends. And this weekend was no different. I received some interesting news today. There were some developments in a um, situation that's been going on with my family that has been going on for a while now, but now it's all coming to a head. I won't bore you with the details, but needless to say, things are changing in my life. And of course, with stress and uncertainty comes eating, for me at least. So today at around two or three o'clock in the afternoon, I started to binge. I got about, I would estimate about 500 or 600 calories into the binge before I stopped myself. I was able to stop myself this time, unlike last week. It just made me think how intrinsically linked my mood is to eating. I don't know if it's really normal to be feeling this way this far into a diet, but I still feel like I'm on autopilot when it comes to food. Like, I was already, like I said, 600 calories into the binge, 600 calories worth of unplanned eating. And like a zombie, I went to the fridge. I had my hand on the fridge door and I was about to pull it open. And I don't know what happened. It was like a thread in my brain just snapped. And I thought to myself, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's not gonna make you feel any better. It's gonna make you feel worse. Think about how you feel. I mean, not even just emotionally, but like physically after a binge. Like I, I always get sick. And so I, I, I took my hand off the fridge, I went downstairs, and I, I don't know, and here I am, I guess you could say. It's, it's evening now, and I'm very full, and I don't plan on eating anymore, but this morning went okay, this afternoon went okay, but as soon as I got that news, as soon as things started going wrong today, my immediate thought was to go just eat thousands of calories of food. Today doesn't really feel like a victory. I guess it could be counted as one because, you know, I did, I did stop before it got too out of hand. But I'm getting very tired. Like I said, you know, this whole endeavor, I'm not going to stop until the year is up. But I don't even know if I'm talking to anyone right now. I don't know. I almost feel like less than videos. These are more just like messages in a bottle that I'm just sending out in the hopes that somebody will find them someday and find them useful. Like if there's anybody watching these videos after they've come out, after I'm long, long gone, you know, I hope that you take comfort in the idea that even if we don't have a ton of time to accomplish our goals, you know, even small victories count for something. Like, I don't really feel good, per se, about stopping the binge when I did, but I am happy that I did. I do feel something. I just don't know that I can explain it. If I could explain it, I think the closest word that would work is hollowness. If I wasn't making a conscious effort to not eat right now, I would be eating right now, just like a zombie. That's what it feels like. It's like hand to mouth, like even this motion, like doing it right now. I, I'm, I, I, like it's, it's, it's making me feel, um, I don't know, better is not the word, but it's like such a mindless feeling. And this is something that Dr. Beck brought up in her book. She brought up that there is no autopilot when it comes to eating. 
at some point you do make a conscious decision to pick up food and eat it. It's not like another person takes over you. But for me, just the fact that I noticed that I was doing it, like, I do feel, like, I feel so odd right now. Just the fact that I'm not eating. Like, even though I'm feeling uncomfortable and, like, emotional, the fact that I'm not eating right now is putting me in, like, I, I'm feeling anxiety. Like, I don't know what to do instead. And like I said, with all of these family things going on this weekend, I can't get to the gym. I can't work out, even though I really would like to. I'd love to, like, go and, like, try on my swimsuit and, like, swim for the first time. I'm really looking forward to that. But with the way things are going right now, I don't really think... I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. I wish I could go running. I wish I could go running. It's weird to think that life just happens whether you want it to or not. Like, there's really no pausing. There's no, like, pressing stop. 